Koichi is to me one of the most underrated artists that you may not even know you know. If I show you this, a picture of Ace, you would think, oh, that looks great, that looks amazing. I've had friends who are not even fans of One Piece share this photo. But if you notice, it's not the original art made by Oda. You notice it's something different. You notice there's more detail. You notice there's a little more emotion behind some of these faces delivered in a way we're not used to. But if I showed you this, you'd go, oh, that's Senku. And you would start to notice the similarities between the two. But if I showed you this, you would say, oh, that's the same artist, but I don't know the character. And herein lies our problem today. This is Origin from the manga of the same name, Origin. And from the same artist of the other two pictures I've showed you, Oichi, who is incredibly underrated, much like the manga that I've just mentioned. So today our subject is why Origin deserves an anime adaptation. So Origin himself is the pinnacle of the male model and incredibly underrated like I've already stated. But should we start with what makes Origin so good or should we start with a little bit of background about our mangaka? Boichi is one half of a two-man team that made up Dr. Stone and he's penned the art for the Ace Solo stories like the picture I've showed you which was written by Sho Hinata and I must say if you haven't already I would suggest checking it out either in its light novel form or in the chapters that have been released that have Boichi's art in them. But Boichi himself has a fair amount of manga under his belt as well with his first manga being Sunken Rock which led to various spin-offs and he's been in quite a few collaborative efforts which makes me wonder does he prefer to work with a team or does he prefer to do the solo projects because Dr. Stone was made around the same time as the manga we're talking about today, Origin. So why do I believe Origin deserves more recognition from the masses which would lead to an anime compared to the current run of our other IPs? I think Origin is leaps and bounds above some of the things that already have animes like My Hero Academia, Seven Deadly Sins, or even compared to its proverbial brother, Dr. Stone, I think this brings something new. I think this brings something different. And we all know that even comparing to Dr. Stone, Dr. Stone doesn't play by our normal rules of kind of what is popular in the anime scape right now. I think Origin can stand among some of the best short form animes like Parasite, The Maxim, Assassination Classroom, and Code Geass. Origin is a story of a robot trying to live a fulfilling life, a goal given to him by his creator upon his death. But how does a being void of emotions know what a fulfilling life is? Not only does he have to figure out how to fulfill this goal, but he also has to do it while blending in with the populace of 2048 Neo Tokyo and make a living wage. That alone is hard enough to do in 2023. Then add his brothers and sisters, five military grade robots, with the goal of robotic domination over the human race and end up going toe to toe with origin. Let's add a little more difficulty in there. Add Hirose, a robot otaku who has a connection to origin that's more than just physical. Then we get into our cast of characters. Like I said, robot otakus, deadly killer robots been on power, hentai manga artists, even deadlier multi-billion dollar robot designing companies who are changing the world as we know it. Each person, company, robot bringing us more into the world and showing us what's at stake and the type of people that are going to change origin to get to his goal. This manga goes from a standard battle manga to an existential thought of what it means to be human, which in turn becomes a narrative of how we live our lives and the goals we have. This story is beautifully depicted by Boichu's artwork from muscular structure to how emotions are depicted on the characters' faces. It just shows how much love was put into this work. When I started writing the script, I only had 10 chapters left. Not sure how the story would end, wondering if Origin would get the ending he deserved. Would he become understanding of what he needs to live a fulfilling life until I finally got to finish on one of my manga streams. As I'm deep into these last 10 chapters, we get to the battle with Shin and the idea of a robot developing its own goal. You know, we have Origin here whose goal is to accomplish what it means to have a fulfilling life, but what about these other ideas? You know, the idea of how does a robot learn to make love to a woman? Or how does the human spirit push to the next level? From one opponent to another, Origin wages war. The next being his brother, Lee, who is a martial artist. In these panels, you see the motion lines and it only helps you 
to imagine in an age where Demon Slayer's animation is next level what we could be doing here. And this is what I mean when Origin gets to its most hype moments, when its most emotional moments, when it's at its end, Origin pulls through and then puts us through another emotional spot. We see a person fighting for a future rather than just themselves. And yes, I know other mangas have done that, but it feels different here because our main character learns about the bigger world around him. And even in the final battle, he gains an immense amount of knowledge, allows him to power up, but instead, but he knows that the power of understanding what needs to be done is more important. There's another chapter, and in this chapter you see that Origin has become a protector of the masses. In the shadows, making sure humans don't go too deep and lose their way. And when we do, that is when he must act as our savior, while still never letting himself be known. And even though we have finished our main story, I found myself shedding tears in this half chapter. Everything we've been fighting for, everything that's been culminating, and how if we only had a helping hand, we could take our future to the next level. I'm sure this seems all over the place, but without a shadow of a doubt, I believe Origin is very deserving of an anime adaptation. I didn't even mention the possibilities of music, and that alone could add a bunch to this video. But in all, if Origin doesn't get an anime, I would suggest giving the manga a chance. It is an amazing manga that will really make you wonder what it means to live a fulfilling life. I want to give a big shout out to a couple people that really kind of pushed me to make this. Uh, shout out to Pink Sage or Tesama, who actually suggested I read Origin in the manga stream, which led me onto this journey that is Origin, as well as Mario, who's really been pushing me to start kind of doing these video essays, as well as my friend Chris, who has uh, been proofreading some of the stuff that I've been working on. But yeah, you know, if you want to get into this, please do. Origin is a great story. I, I couldn't say more great things about it. I'm a huge fan of Dr. Stone. That's one thing I didn't really you know talk about in this video is how you know dr stone is not our normal kind of like story already so getting into origin it kind of feels in that same vein i may have mentioned it earlier you know with dr stone being kind of different uh but yes please if you enjoyed the video hit it with a like down below share the video with your friends if you're in the manga space as well as subscribe for more i do have more video essays coming and maybe a little more down the way but until next time